Don't these pancakes look good? Are you gonna eat your pancakes? Don't spill your water. You gotta eat your pancakes. I gotta clean up in my pancakes. Pancakes? <laughs> Hi, Cosette. Hi. Hi, Isaac. How are you? I'm doing good. You're doing good? Yeah. What are you doing? I'm pushing Cosette. You're pushing Cosette? Yeah. Oh, is she having fun? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Can I push her around? Huh? He doesn't want to see her. Do you want to push her around? <laughs> yeah. Go and push her around. She's crying. Can you be a big brother? Mm -hmm. All right. I'll get big. Whoa. Take her into the front room. Take her into the front room. Yeah. Yep, go that way. Gotta push hard. Almost there. Oh, good job. Cuties. I'm gonna keep you. Wow. This is actually pretty cool. So I don't have my contacts in. And when I look at them, just like with my own eyes, they're like super blurry. Then like here on the phone, I'm like, oh, I can see you. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I just need to look through like digital lenses apparently. See. You see? Okay. All right, so today is Monday the 11th of May and I'm going to go see my El Camino. I got my El Camino registered and pass safeties and all that stuff, so she's now legal to drive on the road. And been doing a lot of work to her with my buddy Scott. He is a pretty awesome guy. He's giving me a lot of good pointers, a lot of good ideas, and really he's been there helping me. Um, the El Camino was running. It's not running anymore. So we're trying to, well, because, because of what we're trying to do. There you go. Now she was running great before, but we're trying to get her to run better, taking off a lot of the unnecessary things like the AC, the air compressor, um, just things like that. The old radiator, the old fan, anything to do with like air pump things it's just it's all gone and another buddy of mine um, his name's Jason he gave me a Edelbrock intake so I had Scott look at that tell me what his thoughts are and that's where I'm going right now to kind of follow up with that so I'll keep you posted on what's going on and the new information and what we're going to be able to do and what I need to do and what will be done. All right, goodbye. All right, so here I am at Scott's pretty much auto shop. And what I'm doing is I'm scrubbing out some like the carbon and stuff like build up on this intake to help clean it out. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and putty it with like the steel stick stuff. And so I'm trying to clean out both here on this side and on this side and these things. Basically that's where the emission stuff was. So we're gonna go ahead and close those up and I'll be able to use that intake and then let that stuff sit for like 24 hours. Uh, so that, that way it hardens uh, pretty much like steel, which is good. And we won't have to run those things. So it'll be great. All right, so here's my El Camino. She's a 79. My dad has had her since I was like five. And then, uh, and then she sat for seven years. And then when I was like 16, well, he drove it and then let it sit for like a couple years. And then when I was 16, I started working on her. All right, so we're gonna see how this works. I'm over here getting ready to uh, drill out the oil pan. Got a new oil pan put in, or uh, 
I'm gonna put in a new oil pan. But uh, it's gonna be right over here. I don't know if I'll be able to see it. So that's where I'm gonna go right here. Is kind of drill this out. And uh, yeah, so. Uh, all right, well, wish me luck. All right, so Wednesday should be the finishing touches on her. So I got this all taken down. It's all nice cleaned up now. She's just getting more naked. But then we'll uh, cover her up and take her on out. See you, buddy. All right, we're heading to Provo to the post office. Why are we going to the post office? Oh, you know. We have to go down to Provo because Lehigh does not do what they walk, call our walk-in passport applications, meetings, interviews, yeah. whatever it is that you talk to them about. And they are booked through this entire month. And we need a passport for Grisette because where are we going in June? Cross our fingers that we're going. Plan is is to go to Canada to go visit your family. We have the Du Michel family reunion. Yay! Yay! So the plan is to get Cosette's passport so that we can all go to Canada in June for the family reunion, and it will be awesome because then my grandparents can see Cosette and how big Isaac has gotten. It's just gonna be so much fun, but we have our fingers crossed because things are crazy and it makes things tight, but. Yeah, just trying to make sure you get enough time off for work. Yeah. Cause I'll be taking uh, two months off. You're coming up shortly. And yeah, just, almost two months off. Just time. I'll be working very part time. Hopefully they can get us in. This is also a very fast trip because as soon as we get back, Clint has to leave again because he has a Monday night meeting tonight. We got somebody coming in from corporate, so it's a big deal, which is a good thing. So Clint has to go pick up the food, do the music. He's also the trainer yeah. for the company. And then Isaac, Cosette, and I have to go on a walk and drop off some visiting teaching assignments to some neighbors in our church ward. So we're gonna do that. Awesome. Oh, we are back in the car. Did we get a passport? We sure didn't. We didn't get Cosette's passport. First we went to the wrong building and then we got to the right building and the line for passports was out the door out the door for where they do it was in the building but it was out the door where they do passport interviews so we decided okay we'll wait in line because they say they close the doors at four o'clock and it was 3 55. Yep. so we so were gonna we see right in time. let's see if they just let us stay well so they were gonna let us stay but then we heard from the people at the very front of the line like next to go up right waiting to go up there oh yeah it's really fast it's only been an hour wait well that could be really fast whatever i don't know i don't get passports that often but clinton has to be somewhere we only had a maximum half hour so guess what we're coming back tomorrow. Yay! So we drove all the way down to Provo. Because they wouldn't to, answer the phones. Yeah, because they wouldn't answer the phone. Just to turn around and head back home. Which really means that we get to be together and <laughs> it makes we, it an We adventure. do like driving together, so it's not really that bad. No. We'll just come back tomorrow. It's fine. Clint is gone at his meeting and we just got back from passing out all the papers we had to to our neighbors and the kids and I are starving. Well, the neighbors gave the kids cookies, but I am starving. So instead of making my nice meal of stuffed peppers, I'm just going to go with pancakes tonight 
And these aren't gonna be the super nice healthy pancakes. These are gonna be the quick, yummy, I've got ingredients pancakes. Don't these pancakes look good? Are you gonna eat your pancakes? Don't spill your water, you gotta eat your pancakes. I gotta eat my pancakes. Pancakes? <gasps> all right, eat them all up. Yeah. Who's it? Stop feeding your pancakes to the dog. Oh no. All right, well I'm gonna eat my pancakes because I think they look delicious and I'm starving. And I'm going to go ahead and say goodnight to everybody because after this, we are going to get ready for bed because it is getting late. All right? Okay. Okay, say bye. Bye. Wave. Wave to grandma. To grandma. Bye.